All right, guys. So up to this point, we've created our site. Uh, well, our site's homepage. We've added the content. We've created a style sheet, and we've styled the entire front page. Now, what I want to do is actually make this into a website and not just a web page. And what I mean is, I want to create these pages. Up in the the nav bar, you'll see we have home, about us, browse developers, and contact us. I want to add these pages. If I click on the about us tag now, it just takes us to about.html, but we don't actually have that file in our structure yet. And this is what we have so far. This is what we've done up to this point. Our home page, an images folder, a CSS folder with our style sheet that we just completed. So what I want to do right now is I want you to go to your, your project files, chapter 2, section four and go to project files parts now open up page outline now this page outline is what we can use to create new pages and let me just open it open it up actually you know what first thing I want to do copy this all copy everything from the page outline dot HTML okay now open a new folder I mean a new file paste that in and let's save as and you can save it wherever you've been saving stuff mine was on my desktop um, and it was in blue developer and I'm gonna save it in the root directory the same place as index.html and I'm gonna call this about dot html and don't forget to choose html as your um, type. Where are you? There he is. All right. And I'm gonna close out the rest of these. So you'll see now I have an about.html. And what this page is is everything except the main content. Uh, let me actually open it. I mean, open it in the browser. and you'll see it's everything but the actual content so we can use this as a shell for for all of our pages and actually if you we go back to our home page and you now, if you now click on about us it'll take you to the page we just created which is about.html so now we can just add our about text um, and I'm gonna do that now so what we gotta do is we got to get the content that we want to put right here right where it says content here so go to your project files section 4 project file parts and I've, I've created these content pages and these are not complete web pages these are just the, the content for each for the the uh, main part of each page. So if you click on about content HTML, you want to copy every oh, you want to copy everything here. Okay, copy it from about content .html, and then put it in your about HTML that you're building now, right where it says content here, and comment and comment. All right. So now we can save this and go back to visit the about page and now we have our about content and the content is just all stuff we've done h2 is h3 paragraph very very simple this is the, the simplest page on the site so I mean now we have our about page our home page so the next thing I want to do is the browse developers page if you go there now you'll see it browse.html it's not here so what I want you to do now is create a new file and let's save it save it in wherever you're building the site along with me and save it as browse.html and you want to make sure that you choose HTML if you're using notepad and you want to save it in the same place that you save the index and the about HTML pages so now that page is created you can actually see if you go to browse developers on the site it takes you to a blank page 
So what we want to do now is we want to add the shell, the, the outline again. So go back to your project files and this is in section 4 project files blue web developer parts and you want the page outline this is that shell that we use for the about us page so co save it uh, copy everything go back to your browse HTML page and paste it save it and now let's see what we have if we go to browse once again we have our shell so we can keep on adding pages like this you know, um, with this using the same header and and menus so if you scroll down on browse HTML you'll see the same the content here comment and we want to grab that now so go to your parts folder again and go to browse browse content HTML and what this is is this is the table that we created in chapter one uh, with the with the developers and their locations and so forth so we want to grab everything and copy it and then we want to go back to browse.html and we want to paste that right here where it says content here okay so now we save that and reload and we have the table uh, it doesn't look perfect yet we have a couple of things we need to do to it um, to style it a little better so uh, let's do that now now if you're following along this is what your structure should look like right now we have about browse index and then we have the CSS and images folder um, so right now <clears throat> I want to go I want to bring up our style sheet whoops uh, I didn't mean to open that net beans sorry about that let me just get out of this we want this we want to open this well I want to open this with notepad plus plus you can use whatever you want and these are all the the styles that we created in the last section <clears throat> so we want to look at this table we want to look at this table and figure out what we need to do to it um, and wait one second just gonna check Alright, so first thing I want to do is I want to margin out some stuff. I want to zero out some stuff. So I'm going to take the table, the table row, the table data or table column, and the table heading. And I want to, I just want to zero out all those margins. Now if you save and reload, you'll see uh, it, there's no more margin auto uh, they're all it's all zeroed out so that's good now the next thing I want to do is add a little bit of padding to the just the table so we'll say table and I want to do I want to do 10 pixels top and bottom and I want to do zero left and right save reload and we just added a little padding to each table there's two tables so now let's take the headings which is name city skills we're gonna take those those are th those are table headings and let's text align center I like the headings to be centered And next we want to take the the um, table data which is a table column and add some padding <coughs> um, we want to do five pixels on top 20 pixels on the right I mean yeah right five pixels on the bottom 20 pixels on the right now this I could have just did the same thing I did here let me just show you so top and bottom 5 pixels left and right 20 pixels this is the exact same this is the exact same as this it's just a shorthand way of doing it this way it would be top right bottom left and this way would be top and bottom left and right so I'll just keep it this way 
So save that, reload. Now another thing I want to do is I want to get rid of these underlines for these links. And now that I think about it, I don't want any links to have underlines. So we can actually declare that for all links by just using the A tab. So, and then that would be text decoration none. Now save, reload, and now we have no more lines. All right, so we're almost done here. I, one thing I want to do is I want to increase the font on this table, but I don't want to increase the font on, I mean, I could just do this. I could just go here and say font size, oops, say 110% save reload and it increased the, the font size but that will be to all table all TD all on um, table column so I don't want to do that I want to single it out reload so if we go back to browse HTML you'll see seconds you'll see the table has a class of dev table so that's what we want to grab to style this these these two particular tables both tables should have that so we want to go back and I'm gonna to go to the bottom and do it and I want to change the font size for all elements of the table which would be the TR the TD so I'm gonna grab something and I'm just gonna paste this and this has given us access to the table itself, the table rows, the table columns, and the table headings. So we're going to increase the font size, and I want the size to be dynamic to the font. I don't want it to say a, a certain amount of pixels. So I'm just going to say 110%. Save. Now all of the elements are now bigger, 110%. And the last thing I want to do to these elements is I want to add a border on the bottom. And I want it to be dashed. And we'll say we want it to be black. Save, reload. Uh, oh, we're going to do one pixel. Save. And there we go. It's starting to take shape. So if I go, I don't know what this double line must be, have. we must have an empty row or something. Um, that looks good. Huh. Can't see what, what that, um, you know what, I think it's because Let's actually take this out and let's put it just for the um, table rows and the table columns. Okay. All right. And at that, save. Let's reload. And there we go. We got rid of that double double column. It's just because we had a, a bottom border on the actual tables themselves. So the last thing we need to do now is to create our contact page. We have the developer table. We have the about page, the home page. So uh, now just open a new file, create a new file, and save it as save it wherever you've been doing the project. Um, wherever your, your files are, whether it's in the, the actual project files structure that came with the video or, or wherever you're doing it. I'm doing it on my desktop in a folder called, if I can find it, Blue Developer. And we're going to save this as contact.html. Choose HTML. All right, so save that. Let's see if it's linked here. Yep. Yeah. So we get the contact.html page, and you probably know what's next. You want to go and get that outline folder, 
um, that comes with the project files, parts, page outline, and copy that, copy everything in it, paste it in the contact page, save. Now if we go to contact, we have that shell. Now we just have to add the content here. And you can get that in the project files in the contact underscore content dot html file. And as you probably guessed, this is the form that we created uh, back in chapter one. So you can see how all the, the little projects, they're all coming together to make this one website. Let's copy that. And we want to paste that right where it says content here. All right, so let's save that, see what we got. And here's our form. And you'll see it's not perfect. Uh, we, we have a, just a couple things we need to do to it um, before it's ready. So let's go to the style CSS. I'm going to close out the rest of my pages. And let's look at it. The first thing I notice is that the labels aren't the same width. So we have this input box back here. This, these two are up ahead. So I want these all to, to line up. So we want to do that on the label element. So, and we'll just do, the, I, I believe these are the only labels on the website. So we don't have to pinpoint which label it is. We'll just do it for just globally, global labels. Um, and what we want to do is one second we want to display we want to do an inline block and then we just want to add a width of uh, 150 pixels save that reload and that looks much better all right, so that's that. We have the contact page complete. Uh, we have the browsing, the browse developers tables, the about page, the home page. So um, the site has really come together. And in the next few chapters, we'll be introducing some new HTML5 methods and and strategies and, and add upon this site as well as some other projects.